experiment, I will be trying to prove if the conservation of mass is true. To do this, I, I will weigh all of these materials and check if the before and after results are the same. We will be using baking soda. In the previous lesson, what state of matter is baking soda? Correct! It is a solid. Next, we will be using vinegar. What state of matter is vinegar? Correct! It is a liquid. Next, we will be using a bottle. What state of matter is a bottle? Correct! It is a solid. Next, we will be using a balloon. What state of matter is a balloon? Correct! It is a solid. We will also be using some measuring cup and a funnel. We will also be using a measuring scale. First, we will get the total weight of all of the materials before the experiment and compare the total weight after the experiment. So first, we will weigh the bottle. It is 154 grams. We will write 154 grams. Next, we will do the balloon. It is 4 grams. We will write 4 grams. Now, to get the weight of the vinegar and the baking soda, we will use our math skills. Here, we will comp compute to get the weight of the vinegar. So, weight of the bottle plus the vinegar minus the weight of the bottle equals the weight of the vinegar. So, first, let's see the weight of the bottle. So, we use the same bottle from before and that's 154 grams. So, we will write 154 grams. Next, we will do the weight of the bottle plus the weight of the vinegar. We will use the funnel to pour the vinegar inside the bottle. Okay. Now, the vinegar is inside the bottle. Let's weigh it. It is 200 and 47 grams. Let's write that. 247 grams. Now let's minus it. So 247 minus 154. So 7 minus 4 is 3. 4 minus 5 cannot be. So we will take from the other side is 1. It's become 14. So 14 minus 5 is 9. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So it's 93. So the weight of the vinegar is 93 grams. Here we go. So we will write 93 grams. Next, we will do the baking soda. Here, we will compute to get the weight of the baking soda. So the weight of the container plus the baking soda minus the weight of the container equals the weight of the baking soda. So first, we will get the weight of the container. It is 13 grams. You will write 13 grams. Now we will weigh the container plus the baking soda. It is 24 grams. Let us write 24 grams. So 24 grams minus 13 equals 24 minus 13 equals 4 minus 3 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 11. We will write 11 grams. So the weight of the baking soda is 11 grams. Let us... Now let's add all the weight. So the bottle is 154 grams plus the baking soda is 11 grams plus the vinegar is 93 grams and plus the balloon is 4 grams. 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 4, 12. 1 on the top. Okay. 1 plus 
5 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 9 is 6. 262 grams. We will write 262 grams. Inside the balloon is the baking soda. Let's put the balloon on top of the bottle. Wow! It is a chemical reaction. It is producing gas that is making the balloon make it big. Let us now weigh it. Now it is 262. Let us write it here in our after experiment. Let us write it now. Two sixty-two. We therefore conclude that the conservation of mass is true. Thank you.